try to get in some photography this morning. It is going to rain. <laughs> I can feel it. I can hear it. And it's definitely on the radar. So we're going to have to do some hustling and some bustling. We're at a location not too far from home. And uh, nobody's here. I mean, we're literally surrounded by communities and nobody's here, which is kind of cool. The place I wanted to shoot this morning is literally a five to ten minute walk from home. But there are already all sorts of trucks and vehicles over there. So I just don't want to bump into anybody yet. I'm not that comfortable yet. So on many levels. So let's see what we got here. I kind of forgot how steep the grade is to get up here. Whew. Nice little hike in the morning. And uh, we're up in a field that's surrounded by woods. Let's see if I can get it. And uh, there's bunnies and all sorts of wildlife that I'm spooking up apparently. So I'm gonna try to quiet it down just a little bit. Hopefully you can still hear me. But yeah, woodland. This is a woodland meadow. meadow. Yep. So here we are at the first composition this morning. It's some butterfly weed. I shot it at ISO 100, uh, 1 20th of a second, and F 6.3. Like I said earlier, there's tons of flowers, wildflowers up here, and then there's a lot of wildlife up here. I knew the wildlife was gonna be up here. So originally I had on my 70 to 300 variable f-stop lens, and um, <clears throat> unfortunately that's got a rather large or long minimum focal distance so when I tried to shoot this with that I just got a blur so I had to switch over to my 20 to 70 millimeter lens got a, a really nice photo of this uh, butterfly weed so let's see what else we got I, I know we got some uh, looks like gray head they kind of look like a wild daisy they shoot up real tall you can probably see them in the frame here there's a few here and there's a bunch of other stuff I think there's some um, Looks like some wild clover around and some thistle. So maybe I can get a thistle shot because I haven't had a thistle shot in a while. So let's uh, take a little bit more time because that rain is uh, out to the west and it's moving this way. We'll probably get rained out in an hour. So here we are at composition number two, not too far away from composition number one. It is a gray head um, prairie cone flower shot with roughly the same settings. I'll put them over the image here in just a little bit for you. We're going to take a little bit more of a walk around because uh, the bees are finally up and a couple of them are kind of irritated with me, I guess, because I'm near their favorite flowers.
So here we are at the third and most likely final composition because I'm starting to hear the thunder rolling in from the west. So I'm probably gonna have to pack it in and head back down the trail and get in the car and head home before I get poured on. I do have a rain jacket just in case. So I don't know, maybe I'll walk around a little bit longer, but that thunder is getting closer and closer. So this last composition was of the uh, <clears throat> purple prairie clover. It's really cool. Um, I'm going to show you the settings in a sec, but uh, the birds are going crazy. Got tons of cardinals running around, and it's just, it's a good morning to get out. And I'm just so glad that it was just me, I guess. Nobody else is here. I better get moving. That rain's coming. Okay, so I just saw some uh, golden tick seed or golden mane tick seed. There's a little contradiction on the, uh, the app that I'm using to identify flowers because I'm not a botanist by any means or stretch of the imagination. There's lots of it up here and uh, there's a cool little pond marsh area with uh, some cattails over here. So I'm just gonna kind of hike around see if there's anything else that just screams photograph me today but um, <clears throat> I'm looking at some really dark clouds coming right at me and that's where the thunder's coming from I'm just gonna spin you around let the camera kind of correct clouds dark sky um, cameras actually adjusting for me so Probably doesn't look as threatening as I'm seeing it, but that's the typical rolling cloud under the front of a thunderstorm complex here in the Midwest, in the state of Missouri, definitely. And uh, it might be time to call it a day. Well, let's see how well this thing does, because uh, <laughs> I was signed up to take the shot of those uh, well, these things right here. Yeah, setting up to take a picture of uh, those uh, golden tick seeds. And uh, <clears throat> my Osmo Pocket decided it didn't want to stay on the tripod and nosedived, hitting the gimbal end straight down onto the gravel and uh, let's just say gimbal gravity plus gravity 
plus ground equals busted. Yeah, we'll see if I can get that fixed or uh, if I'm just gonna have to replace it. Oh. Needless to say, still an awesome day. And uh, luckily I've got a backup camera, which I can't tell if I'm actually on camera, but I'm trying my best with it. We're gonna head back to the truck and get out of here because it's definitely gonna rain. And uh, after losing my primary video camera, I'm not a happy camper, I'll be honest. But I think I got some good photos this morning and uh, it's a good outing. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't yet done so, please hit that subscribe button and ring the bell for future notifications of videos. We'll see you next time.